Here's my breakfast this morning. I have some uh, O'Brien potatoes, I believe they're called. I have potatoes that I kill, but I'm having that. I'm having uh, pork chop. I have that cut up with a little bit of coconut aminos on it. Fried egg and some broccoli and cheese. Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Keto Granny. And I stopped by the grocery store this evening, so I have a quick grocery haul that I want to share with you. i uh, show you some of the items that I picked up. Um, these few items, and I call them very few, were $100. Can you believe that? All of this cost me $105 at the grocery store. I found that so unbelievable. Everything has really, really gotten super, super high as far as groceries now. Super, super high. Here I have a package of strawberries. And these are organic strawberries. I got these so that I can make me some desserts or have something sweet. And I'll use the strawberries to satisfy that. I also picked up some eggs and I picked up organic eggs and also some regular eggs. Um, in case I want to make some breads and different things like that, I'll have eggs readily available to use. Here also, I picked up some pecans. Okay, you all, I love pecans. I snack on pecans. Now, you can overeat pecans, and uh, they can cause you to cramp just a little bit if you overeat them a lot. Um, I have pecan halves. I want to make sure I get a good pecan piece now when I am eating them, and then I have a bag of chopped pecan. Here I picked up some little bitty uh, containers of almond butter, and I'll just use this for a fat snack. Um, let me show you. Uh, let's see, 210 calories, protein 5 grams, total carbs 7 grams, fiber 3 grams. And total fat, 18 grams. So I can use this for like a fat substitute for a quick snack. Here I have some Jimmy Dean sausage. And they had the sage. So I got the sage. I love sage. You know, um, I went out of town one time and the lady made some sage biscuits. Oh, those were so good and delicious. And I want to make some. I want to make some sage biscuits. Here's some honey ham. Now, this is processed meat what they would consider processed meat. Um, but it's honey ham, and I got some of this so I can make a lasagna dish, or I would just have some to eat with some lettuce leaves, make me a quick little uh, lettuce leaf sandwich. I also picked up some hot Italian sausage, all natural ingredients, gluten-free, no MSG, BHT-free, BHA-free. This is hot Italian sausage, and I'll be using this to make some dishes, premium meats made in Oregon. I found some uh, grass-fed butter. It was a new grass-fed butter from or Ireland. Um, I have used butter from different places before, as long as it's grass-fed. And so I'm trying that brand this week. Here I have some boneless New York sirloin steak, raised without antibiotics, free range, no added hormones. And these were, these are grass-fed, but these were um, a little bit cheap, I call them, $10.66 there. So I picked that meat up. Also, I have my Diet Pepsis. Let me tell you all, what can I say, my Diet Pepsis. I also picked up some um, sugar-free coconut, sweet coconut chocolate candy. Um have for a snack because my husband he's got some cookies and some candy different stuff around here so like i said you, you're gonna have to just be prepared um for what's gonna work for you some people say hey don't be buying you know those candies and different stuff like that but i do have these available because if i want something sweet um it's better for me to have a piece of this i believe than to have the candy that he has so this is 20 gram total carbs one gram of fiber, sugar, alcohol is 17 grams. So it's about, what, two carbs? But look at what it has in there. Malatol syrup. Not good at all. Malatol syrup. 
Malitol. I'm seeing Malitol in there twice. Okay. And it's got a lot of it in there because it was one of the first ingredients. But that's why I say read the labels. But I do have that um, as far as a snack. Now, I saw this today. I've never seen this before. Chili garlic sauce. And it was um, pretty reasonable as far as the calories and everything. Okay, and then let's see, back to my grocery haul here. I was talking about the Pops, yeah. I like my Diet Pepsi. I, you know, have a drink every now and then, and I get these um, Diet Pepsis, and I drink them with my eyes. And, and I don't think that they really affect me that much. So it's something that I do have in my diet. Um, uh, you know, maybe some people don't agree with drinking the diet, Coke and diet sodas. But it's something that I treat myself to. Um, and this evening, I bought some of the Kraft uh, regular cheese, American cheese. I was just craving the taste of this cheese. I haven't had it for a long time. I usually get a hard cheese. And that way, you don't get all those extra carbs and extra ingredients in it. And I got me some of the Keto Jellos. I got blueberry and mixed berry. And these are 2 gram carbs, 1 gram sugar, 15 grams of protein. 15 grams of fat a piece and I got four of those got a couple of uh let me see here got a couple of lemons and then we found some luncheon meat I've been wanting some luncheon meat my hoodie's husband honey honey or husband he's been wanting some luncheon meat this is what it has in it um some people don't agree like I say with the sodium nitrate sugar but um, he wants some, so this has no carbs, 7 grams of protein, 16 grams of fat, but it has a lot of sodium. So, you know, I love Spam. I may have a little piece of it, but it's something that I can't eat a lot of because of the sodium. I also picked up some um, almond flour, and that's for my baking, y'all. I do do baking, uh, you know. So, I have that. And then I have, uh-oh. Let me get this up to the front a little bit. I have my silk um, almond milk. This is what I use, and this is what my husband uh, uses to drink, too. The unsweetened vanilla. It's only 30 calories uh, per serving. Um, for my meat, I picked up some um, sausage. I mean, I picked up sausage, but I picked up some bacon. And this is my bacon from Oregon out of Pendleton. Scrumptious, gluten-free, no MSGs. And also, I picked up some ribs. Boy, ribs, they were high. I got this lab for, which I thought was a deal. Look, what is this? $15.48. However, I was at the other store, and at Safeway, I might as well say what store, ribs were $23, $24 a slab. So I got this lab so that I can have some ribs <laughs> this week. And my husband, he loves his juice. So, you know, juice is just straight calories, straight sugar. I'm trying to have him stop drinking juice, but he loves his juice. So he has his uh, V8 Splash Berry Blend Antioxidant C and B Vitamin Juice. He also has his cookies, and he has his symphony um, candy bar. So that was kind of why I picked up the sugar-free um, coconuts, just to have something, just to have something here for me. But this is my grocery haul that I picked up this evening, and I'm getting ready to put all of this stuff away. Thing about me when I go to the grocery store, I've been doing this ever since the pandemic started. I always wipe my groceries down with soapy water when I get them at home. So I've already done that and I'm just getting ready now to go ahead and put everything away. But also at the store, at the checkout counter, they get you at the checkout counter, they had some flexible tripod stand plus remote. And I went ahead and got one of these for my phone so that way because I use my phone a lot to make my videos. And I figure I can just use this, and this will make it just a little bit easier for me as far as recording. I have had one of these before, but I really don't know where it is. So, 
everyone. I hope that you have a good evening. This is my grocery haul for this evening. And I just wanted to share that with you really, really quick. Now on to the next thing on my list. I had a package that came. Um, Self-test self at home kits to each home. You are entitled to four tests. There's two tests to each box. And I received this in the mail. So I wanted to share that with you. Make sure that you order your test kits. They do come in very handy. And that way you don't have to just keep going out and, you know, getting your testing done and different things like that, waiting in those long lines. Also, I picked up some of my, some of the N95 masks that they sent to the pharmacies. I got these from Fred Myers, you all. So go pick up your mask. You're supposed to get four masks apiece, and you're supposed to get um, four tests that come to your home. So these are the items that I got. I just wanted to share them with you. So this is my dinner for tonight. Just something plain and simple. Um, it's a keto burger with a 80-20 uh, hamburger patty. I have some sugar-free ketchup on here and some mustard. Um, and then I have my spring mix salad along with a little bit of pecans, uh, some olive oil, and a little bit of catalytic dressing. And this is my dinner. Also, I'm going to add in a Ramundo's uh, sugar-free jello to this. And the time is... I'm going to be through eating by 7.45 or about 10 minutes until 8 tonight. And this is really late. I'd like to stop eating at least by 7 o'clock at the latest.